Okay, so the limit of sine squared x times cosine x over 1 minus cosine x as x approaches to 0. Now, if we're going to apply direct substitution, so this becomes sine squared 0 times cosine uh, 0 over 1 minus cosine 0. Now, this sine 0 that's equal to 0 and this cosine 0 is 1. Then we have 1 minus cosine 0, that's 1. So this limit now becomes 0 over 0 or indeterminate. So in this case, we cannot apply direct substitution. So therefore, we need to reduce this equation first using the trigonometric identities. Now, since we have this sine squared x and we have this identity that sine squared plus cosine squared is equal to 1, then solve for sine squared, so transpose this cosine squared. So sine squared is equal to 1 minus this cosine squared. So we're going to replace this sine squared by this equation 1 minus cosine squared. So we have now our new equation. So 1 minus uh, cosine squared x then times this cosine x then over 1 minus cosine x. Then from the difference of two squares, so we have this x squared minus y squared so the factors for this one, that's x plus y times x minus y. And this 1 minus cosine squared x, the same as 1 squared minus cosine squared x. And the factors for this one, that's 1 plus cosine x times 1 minus cosine x. So factor out this equation. So this one is equal to 1 plus cosine x times 1 minus cosine x. Then times this cosine x over the denominator that's 1 minus cosine x. Then we can uh, cancel this 1 minus cosine x. So this is now our new equation. 1 plus cosine x times the cosine x. Then substitute this uh, value to x. So as x approaches to 0, so we have 1 plus uh, cosine 0 times cosine 0. Now since cosine 0 is 1, so 1 plus 1 times 1. So therefore, this limit is equal to positive 2.